it's December 20th, 2021. And before we jump into November, I want to clear up one or two things that are starting to pop up in chat a little more frequently. And even before I do that, welcome to the new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate the fact that you honor me with your subscription. I have noticed in chat that more than once someone has either alluded to or outright stated that I must be a friend of the Wells family somehow connected to them. I'm not connected to them. So I'll say it again. I live way up north. I live in Michigan. My old subscribers know that. Uh, I love Tennessee, the state of Tennessee. It's a beautiful place. It's rugged and it is wild and it is beautiful. But I do not live there and I've never lived there. I do not have friends, family, or relatives of any kind there. So, now that we've taken care of that, let's, uh, let's go see if we can't get Don Wells out of his jail cell on November 1st, 2021. While in court for DUI charge on November 1st, 2021, Wells was arrested on a violation of probation charge. The 9 a.m. appearance in Judge Daniel Boyd's courtroom led to Donna Wells' arrest for violation of probation. Wells was walked out of the courtroom by Hawkins County Sheriff Ronnie Lawson. Wells was placed on probation after he was convicted in April of 2021 of possession of a handgun by an intoxicated person. Around 9.20 a.m., Sheriff Lawson entered the courtroom. Another officer placed Wells under arrest for the alleged violation of probation. Following his arrest, Wells approached the podium. Wells mentioned in court he was unsure how he could keep up with the court expenses as well as child support for his sons. Boyd appointed Wells a public defender and reset the hearing to February 7th at 1 p.m. to await Wells' blood results from his DUI arrest Saturday. I assure you, we've done everything. When we were up there on that scene, everything humanly possible to do, said Hawkins County Sheriff Ronnie Lawson. From the manpower, the search, helicopters, airplanes, tremendous amounts of dogs, cadaver dogs, search dogs, search and rescue teams, we did everything possible. We get calls in here almost daily about people that think they have, may have seen her or have something they want us to look into, he said. 99% of the, these things that you see on social media or that's called in here, we've already done numerous times. Throughout the investigation, authorities have stressed that social media has hindered the investigation. Majority of it has been a hindrance because a lot of the information that we get is the same information that we've gone over time after time after time. And we really don't pay a whole lot of attention to social media because it has nothing to do with this case. 99% of it is false, said Lawson. It'd be better if they just put the facts that something can be proven instead of speculation and gut feelings. Everything is on the table and everything is being looked at. And you would think that if things like abduction or human trafficking, someone somewhere would have seen this little girl, Lawson said. As much media attention and social media attention across America, one person would have seen that and made a call. But we're not ruling it out. Well, sir, we've just done what you asked us to do at the risk of getting in trouble with the publisher, but we have quoted you directly. Let's move on. The TBI tweeted on November 10th that the agency had seen an uptick in misinformation surrounding Summer Wells' case, adding that the agency had executed search warrants and collected potential digital evidence. The agency told the public to stick to the facts, all of which can be found on the TBI's Summer Wells Newsroom webpage, which is true. We showed the, you that a couple of days ago. I'd like for them to put a hot link at the top of that page so you don't have to scroll through 11 or 12 pages. Just saying. And then finally on November 30th, 
all of law enforcement surprised us. Today, teams will be focusing on overgrown areas that were previously difficult to access due to the high grass and heavy foliage, Leslie Earhart said. Several other law enforcement agencies are assisting. Leslie Earhart, if you did not see our previous broadcast in this series, is a TBI spokeswoman. Earhart told News Channel 11 that cadaver dogs were utilized during Tuesday's search as they have been in the past. And that closes the month of November 2021 in the search for Summer Wells. That brings us to within two weeks as of this publication, and I think we will leave the month of December for the end of December, or maybe the first week in January, depends on how things shake out. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. As always, welcome new subscribers, and I'll see you real soon.